Hello everyone and welcome back to higher mathematics. Today we have an interesting limit. We have a limit x approaches to 0 and y approaches to 0 when x plus y all over x and we need to find this limit. How can we find this limit? First of all we can put the 0 and 0 right here and we will have 0 over 0 which is undefined. So we can we need to find another way, another approach how to solve it. First of all I want to show you a real good approach how to solve this limit. Take a look. If I have for example <coughs> a dot m with uh, 1 over n in x and 1 over n as over y, this dot approaches to 0 when n approaches to infinity. So right here is our x, right here is our y, and when n approaches to infinity we have 0 and 0 as our coordinates, yeah? And let's take another dot, for example m prime. We will have, for example, 1 over n and the second dot is 0. And this dot approaches to 0 as well, when n approaches to infinity. So, what are we going to do in our case? Let's change this x and y by this one. Let's use this substitution. What we will have? That this limit will be equal to limit as n approaches to infinity, because right here n approaches to infinity, but we don't have x and y, we have these dots. We will have our x 1 over n and our y plus 1 over n as well and dividing by 1 over n as well. How can we find this limit? Take a look. This limit is really good because we can find our common denominator in our denominator. We will have we will have n and right here we will have n plus n, we will have 2n, yeah? So as a result we will have 2n over n and our limit will be equal to 2, 2. As you can see we find our limit. But we have another dot we have m prime. This dot approaches to zero as well when n approaches to infinity. What we'll have in our case? The limit as x approaches to zero and y approaches to zero of the function x plus y that in we have in the beginning. It will be equal to limit n approaches to infinity of the function one over n, this is our x, and plus zero, this is our y and all over 1 over n. As you can see, we will have limit n approaches to infinity, and if we divide into the same elements, we will have, for example, n over n or 1 over n. After all simplifying methods, we will have that this limit will be equal to 1. And we have our answer. What do you think about this approach? Write your, write your answer in the comment, write your suggestion in the comment about, about this substitution. What do you think about it? It will be really interesting to read it and of course write your suggestion in the comment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, have a great day.